Evening everybody, just going to give you a quick run through of Results HQ offline. Uh, you would have received an email soon, uh, recently, and in there is a link to the page that we're looking at right now. What I'm going to do, I've read this before, so it's got the information about how to set up and sync, and then what the screen itself looks like, and how to edit or add a new family. So I've checked all that out, I understand what I need to. I've got my center officials and club officials and family users, how people can use it. If I'm going to download it now, so I'm just going to click on the link. Come in here and grab a copy. While that's downloading, I've <coughs> downloaded it. I've just put a little shortcut on my desktop. So I'm just going to open up the application by double clicking on it. Note some Vista computers don't like this application and you'll have an issue. So if that's the case, you'll need to find another laptop that's running Windows 7, 8 or XP. Now that we're here, I'm just going to go to settings and sync with the web. In here, it's got my dummy center. I put my password in, press refresh. And it's now got my members loaded, families, club data, and duty details. So that's everything I need to do now. So I'll press finish. Come back in here and put in my password or username. Maximize the screen. There's not many kids in this center. So I've got filters up here. And the age groups over to the right I've then got who's active and who's inactive inactives will be all the ones that you haven't registered yet and all the active ones will be the ones that you have little blue cloud here means that they have uploaded to results HQ there's also a search function down the bottom here it picks up a part of a name, so we're going to start putting in Matt and the parents in this case are Matt Timber. Once I've found whoever I want to have a look at, I can just double click on any part of this row. So I just double clicked on the family. So here's the Jobs family surname Jobs, first name Bill, date of birth here grab the calendar and change that if I needed to, if there's a new person. Gender, male, female, I put in school and medical information. Permission to seek medical treatment, ambulance cover. Registration numbers there from prior. Um, that would be zeroed out in most of your cases. Here's the clubs. There's one there called Best. There are new registration. They're active. Here's the proof of age. And here's the family details, the payment type. Here's the policy. Clicking on it brings it up so I can see the whole terms and conditions for Walla. Need to approve that. Then I'll upload that. I can have a look at online data versus offline data. What's the difference? I can save or cancel out. I need to put another child to this family. Just press the plus button. Everything here remains the same. It's just the member details in the top half of the screen. So there are another jobs kid. It's a female. Permission received, yes. Ambulance cover, no. I don't know the rego number yet. Proof of age, yes, I saw that today. Same details, and they have paid. Proof, they've approved the uh, terms and conditions, so I'm just going to get upload. So it's saying all members require proof of age, okay. So this one's got it. Let's have a look back at Bill. So going to turn bills on and get upload. 
Stephanie's missing a club. Okay, where's Stephanie? Here she is. I didn't put a club in there. Thank you. Okay, now it's going to upload details. So they are now up in the cloud. So cancel. See Stephanie's here. If I go and have a look up in Results HQ, I'm going to my Status Manager, show member details. There's Stephanie. She's ready to go. Going to my member list. There's Stephanie there. If I needed to adjust anything in Stephanie's details, I can just come down here and get upload. And that's done. So that's how you use this. If I wanted to add a new member from scratch, a new family, fill in the, the, the child one, child two, child three, fill in the parent details, make sure they're happy with the terms and conditions, and then upload them. Thanks for your time, guys. I hope that makes sense. And uh, we'll be around if you've got any questions. Have a good night.